This is my first set of Leachianus geckos I've ever had, but I've been keeping Rachodactylus uh, geckos for several years now. And uh, one thing that I just learned and kind of crazy I never thought of um, is, a, is a good strategy for actually doing a little spot cleaning in the cage. Uh, if you've kept these geckos uh, in the genus Rachodactylus for very long, um, you realize that you get a lot of this... Uh, runny kind of poop there's some right there on the side of the cage from where they eat the crested gecko diet um you know and so their feces is is incredibly runny and it sticks to the cage and and sometimes you can scrub and scrub and scrub and i've tried a lot of different things but um one strategy that i do now that i uh, was reading about something somebody else did, and there may be a, a lot of people that do this. I just may be the last one to get on the bandwagon, but I just keep a pack of razor blades next to the enclosure, and you can get some really fancy razor blades, but I just uh, have a pack. And you're not going to scratch the glass by using a razor blade. Um, if you've ever worked with building any tanks, you'll know that a great way to remove excess silicone for example um, there's a bead of silicone right here uh, running up and down where I actually installed the glass and you can actually use a razor blade to scrape away some of that excess silicone so uh, but you can actually use these razor blades to kind of spot clean the cage so I fed these guys last night and you know they they trample through the the food and you can actually see over there in the corner by the spray bottle where they kind of got some of the food on the walls and um but if you just take a razor blade and just kind of scrape and rub on the glass um you'll see that that kind of uh the runs from the uh fecal material just kind of comes right off and this is a great way to actually remove um, especially if you've got a really nice enclosure like this one that's kind of a, a display for these animals uh, in the middle of the house or like mine in an entryway you really want to keep it looking nice it's a very efficient way to clean them you know and and if you've kept rachidactyl species very long you probably like me and you've gotten frustrated trying over and over again to scrub the sides of your tanks and I've tried rags and I've tried the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and using a toothbrush and all that. Um, but a razor blade actually works really, really nicely. So just by doing a little scraping, you can see where that, that spot was that it's, it's pretty much gone. It looks like I missed a little bit. Um, and you can see there's a little run down here on the side that I, I didn't scrape but in the place where I scraped it's it's pretty much gone so that's just a, a good strategy for for spot cleaning a uh, a really nice terrarium like this with the rachidactylus geckos